These are called fraction baths. Each bath is divided into an equal number of paths. Green baths have two paths. Yellow baths have three paths. Blue, four. Purple, five. Red, six. The white baths are each divided into ten equal paths. And the orange baths are divided into twelve equal paths. This green bar has one out of two paths shaded and represents the fraction one-half. This yellow bar represents the fraction two-thirds because it has two out of three paths shaded. If a bar has all of its paths shaded, as this bar with four paths out of four, it is called a whole bar. Here are the seven fraction bars that each have one path shaded. By placing or wrapping these bars around the sides of a glass, we obtain the math class that is shown next. This is a math class. It shows halves, thirds, fourths, fifths, sixths, twelfths, and one final bar with ten pats, labeled with tenths on the left side, and percents on the right side. This math glass is filled to one whole bar. By filling the math glass to different levels, all 42 of these fraction bars can be illustrated on the sides of the glass. Let's watch fourth graders using the math class. You're using the one half mark, and you fill it, you fill it up to the one half mark. The glass is filled to the one half mark. The glass filled up to the one half mark. Okay. Just, it's just one of the two people now, because the other person's going to do something different. Okay, right on the money, one half. Now, one half is also the same as two fourths, right? Right on the glass. Compare the two bars on each side of the one-third bar. Well, the other person, to find the one-third, one pound out of three, and fill that glass up to the one-third mark. This glass is filled to the one-third mark. So that's Aaron, that's Matthew, okay. that's Mark, that's Brandy. The other Brandy. person find the one-third. Very carefully fill the glass up to just one third. One of them has a glass that's half full, and Austin has a glass, we'll say, the other person has a glass that's a third full, right? One third full. Now let's suppose that they combine these two, what fraction of a glass would they have? Before you do that, does anyone have any idea what it would be? What do you think it might be? One whole. What? One hole? You think if you add a third and a half, you get a hole? Oh, wait, no. Huh? No, because we know a third is less than a half, right? Okay. Okay. Well, what do you think? Three fourths. Three fourths? Okay. Well, we're going to now show this. Now, it doesn't matter whether you pour the third into the half or the half into the third, okay? You can just, and then you can look at the glass and tell me. How high the uh, liquid goes. Okay, once you get it poured, now you get to the glass and see if you can read off. You might have to turn it around. Good. Perfect. Good job, Matthew. Now, what does it measure up to be? Read it. Uh, let me. Yeah. I, I want to do it. Three, four. Uh -huh. oh, so you can do it together, you both. Together. Yeah. Of course. This is a fifth. About what? Here's an interesting answer right here. Somebody got 10 out of 12. Is 10 out of 12 the same as 5 out of 6? These bars are next to each other and show 5 6 and 10 twelfths are the same. You want to do one more experiment? Yes! Yeah. Put yeah. one glass up until it is 7 out of 12. Glass shows the 7 out of 12 level. 7 out of 12. I'm going to 
Three twelves is equal to one fourth. We've done addition, we've done subtraction using the glasses. Okay, so we can do a lot of other things, but you know what? We're out of time. So. <coughs> this shows a portion of the home page of FractionBaz.com. There is an option called Math Glasses Personalized Questions that we will select. These are the four levels of questions. The preschool questions use just whole numbers to describe paths of fraction paths. The other three levels use fractions. We will select grades 3 to 4 and enter four of the six possible names and click Go. Here are the first few of the grades 3 to 4 questions. There are 32 questions followed by answers. If the math classes are not available to answer these questions, we can go back one page by clicking Return. And below the names, we can order math classes or select the glasses applet to experiment with simulated math classes. This glasses applet can also be obtained on the home page of FractionBars.com. By dragging the outside arrows, the glasses can be filled to various levels, say one-third for the first glass. First, we click the large black directional arrows, right or left, one click at a time usually works well. Then we drag the arrow to fill the one-third glass then we drag the arrow for the second glass to the one-half level. We can combine these two amounts by pouring either glass into the other by clicking the purple arrows at the top. Now we need to turn the second glass to see the total amount. The level is not at one of the marks for the first bar, but we do see that the liquid is at 10 parts out of the 12 level and also five paths out of six level. This illustrates addition of fractions. One third plus one half equals ten twelfths or five six. By the way, to empty the second glass, we can click the purple arrow at the top. Suppose one glass is filled to the two thirds level and we need to pour off one fourth of a glass. We will pour the first glass into the second, but first we need to make sure that only one-fourth is poured. To do this, we drag the inner arrow on the second glass to the one-fourth level, but first we turn the glass to a bar with four parts. Then drag the inner arrow to the one-fourth level. Now pour the first glass into the second glass by clicking the upper arrow. Finally, to determine the amount remaining in the first glass, we turn that glass, not a half, not the tenth bar, 
about one, two, three, four, five twelfths. This illustrates subtraction of fractions. Two thirds take away one fourth equals five twelfths. If math classes are used at mealtimes, questions about fractions will arise naturally. I just drank one sixth of a glass. If I started with one half, how much is left? When people are pouring you a drink, you won't have to show how much by pointing to the side of the glass. Those days are gone. With math classes, you can now be more precise. So here's to your health and to helping children understand fractions.